Uh, it's Dr. Frederick on our last uh, question of review for the first uh, of our review sessions. Um, the, the last one is about the correlated T uh, test or the T test for correlated groups, what your book calls it. And one of the assumptions that you have when you do a T test or conduct a T test is that you're looking at two groups, but there is the assumption that they are uncorrelated or independent of each other. And here's a situation where we have participants that we give two uh, sorts of tests. Um, word recalls whether um, the, the word is something very uh, simple and concrete or whether it's an abstract word. What's your uh, ability to recall those words? And in order to test this hypothesis, we decided not to use two separate groups, but decided to use uh, the same participants. And what that means is that these values here in this column are automatically correlated with this column because they came from the same participants. And we expect there to be some relationship between them simply because they came from the same participants. So think about if you were doing some sort of ability to recall words and you did it by age and you have one-year-olds, two-year-olds, three-year-olds, four-year-olds, five-year-olds, or you just had a one-year-old, two-year-old, three-year-old, four-year-old, five-year-old. You expect there to be an increase in the number of words recalled, but as it turns out it has nothing at all primarily to do with concrete versus abstract, but about the person characteristics over here. So these are, un, uh, these are correlated samples before we even begin, and we're just using a process to take that correlation out or to, to reduce the, uh, the correlation to see if there truly is a difference uh, independent of the, the correlated nature. And what you do is simply compute a, Z, a D score. You won't have to do this computation for your exam. Just want you to understand what you're looking at. You're looking at a difference score. This is what we call it, just a difference between uh, performances on the test. And, and what you're going to do with these D scores is you're going to uh, find the um, um, standard deviation of them, S sub D, or this, this value right here. Then you're going to find the standard error of the different scores by dividing by the square root of however many participants you had. And you're going to use this standard error of the mean to compute your T-score. And so the, uh, the differences are between a regular T-test is, is, first of all, that your groups are correlated. You've already violated a, a core assumption of T-tests. That's the main difference. But you're going to use this value called the standard error of the different scores to compute your T-score. And it's just this stepwise process to compute it. Uh, compute it. First find the differences, then find the standard deviation of those differences, then find the standard error of the different scores by dividing by the square root of n, and then using that standard error as your denominator to compute your d, where the mean different score is what you're evaluating.